During the Kelowna Rockets' current hot streak, and make no mistake, these guys are cooking, many players have elevated their play. One such player is defenseman Jesse Lees, who has six points and is plus eight in just nine January games. I think the last couple of weeks here, things have started going and I've uh, felt a lot better out on the ice and playing it with a lot more confidence and so it's been good to see. I think Jesse is, is one of those players that uh, I think if you were to ask him, there's been a little bit of inconsistency in this game and, and I think, uh, which is probably normal as a 17 year old, but in saying that, you know, lately I think his game has picked up a lot and I think uh, a big part of it is, is probably because of his compete level has gone up. He's not big for a defenseman, but at six foot and 180 pounds, he's not small either. He's a mobile, puck-moving defenseman and was an offensive catalyst before reaching the dub. At this level, he makes a very good first pass out of the zone. As a 17-year-old defenseman, sometimes you don't see it the way you should or, or things kind of close in on you, but um, when he sees the game, he's, he's got a great first pass, probably the best on the team. When I was younger, I was a lot more offensive, but now the game's kind of changed and you have to uh, kind of adapt to the role that you're given. And um, at times, like the, well, on the power play, try to help as much as you can and during five on five when the opportunity's there, but most importantly, you gotta keep pucks out of your net. When Jesse competes, he, he can defend very well. He's a smart player, uses his body well, and usually is able to come out of the corner with pucks when uh, you know when he's competing, and, and even if it's against bigger guys because of the way that he can use his body and, and how smart he is. Perhaps surprisingly, the Calgary native is plus 34 this season, second on the team and fourth in the entire league. The plus-minus stat is followed intensely by die-hard fans, and the players certainly like it for bragging rights. We take a lot of pride in that because you never want to be out there when the other team scores and always want to be out there when you score. So, of course, it's good, and uh, I hope to keep getting better and keep improving on that. But this stat can be somewhat misleading. A lot of times, it depends on who you're on the ice against. For example, Nicholas Lidstrom was plus 450 for his career and plus 61 in the playoffs, and he was always up against opposing team's top lines, which makes those numbers even more incredible. But other defensemen on good teams can sometimes pad the number when they aren't always facing top six forwards. A lot of nights he'll play against the other team's uh, third and fourth lines, and because we have such strong third and fourth lines that, you know, um, we typically outscore the other team's lines. So Jesse certainly benefits from that. Uh, but in saying that, I mean, he's a big part of that because of the fact that he can make a good first pass and, and uh, do some stuff uh, in the offensive zone. The scouting report in August listed Lees at number 22 in their top 30 WHL draft eligibles, and other online magazines had him ranked in the top 20. But Central Scouting seems to have ignored the bright young prospect. Barely eligible for the 2013 NHL draft by just one day, he wasn't listed among the 214 North American skaters in their midterm rankings. Lees, though, is not concerned. I know what I can do, so I'm not worried about what's happening. It just gives you another chance to prove them wrong and show everybody what you're actually made of and how you should be on there. So it's kind of a little bit of encouragement and just hope to make it on the next round. Jesse might be a, a kid that, you know, eight, by the time he's 18, 19, will be a, an extremely, extremely gifted offensive defenseman in this league. Um, but right now, I think he certainly needs to, to get a little stronger. And, 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 it, and I think his size has a lot to do with the fact why they're not, you know, uh, necessarily projecting him to be a draft pick or on their list. But it doesn't mean that Jesse can't have success as a hockey player.